Hey, stick around, I'm going to show you how to make shadows with your 2D lights in Godot, as well as how to add light masks, make your game spooky and stuff. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this is a quick tutorial on adding shadows to your 2D games in Godot. By adding shadows, you can make the lighting in your game feel more realistic, as the light will seem to interact more with objects in the game, rather than just feeling like part of the art. This can even become a core mechanic of your game, communicating more to the player than you otherwise would be able to. You'll need to know how to make a 2D light in the first place. The first thing you might want to do is watch my video on how to make 2D lighting in Godot. Not a self-plug, it's just something that you need to know before you can learn how to make shadows. My video just happens to be the shortest and quickest way to learn how, with it being about 3 minutes long. If you don't want to watch it, then here's a quick recap of what I covered there. You cannot use any other colors for this part. Into the texture field, and you're done. Hope you caught all that. Once you have made a 2D light and you are feeling happy with it, then go ahead and add a Light Occluder 2D node to your scene. If you click on the Light Occluder 2D node, it will tell you that it needs an Occluder Polygon 2D, or a shape that will cast the shadows. And you cannot move it till it has one. You can create it there, or in the attributes of the Light Occluder 2D. To make this all a little easier, when you add the Light Occluder 2D node to the scene, add it directly as a child to whatever it is that will be casting the shadows. Be sure that your Z indexes and layers match between the light and the occluder nodes, otherwise it isn't going to work. And to make sure that you're not feeling stupid wondering why it doesn't work for an hour or two, make sure to enable shadows on any of the light 2D nodes that you wish to be affected. I, of course, have never forgotten to do this. Actually, just kidding, there really isn't a step 3. Okay, so let's move on to light masks. So a light 2D node has a drop down menu for its mode. But by default, it's set to add. What this does is it makes the whiter parts of your sprite be the most intense parts of the 2D light, and the dark parts have less intensity. If you change this to subtract, then it inverts those qualities. If you change it to mix, I'm not really sure what it does. And the last option is mask. What this does is it changes your light into more of a screen. The whiter parts of your sprite will allow light to pass through, and the darker parts will block that. Or whiter has higher opacity, and darker has lower opacity. You may want to get a more specific sprite though. Let me show you what I mean. Make your light sprite, but instead of having nothing on the edges, make it black. It just works better. And then maybe make it bigger too. This isn't very specific, and it's kind of hard to explain why. But if you mess around with different things, then you'll figure out what will work best. As with many things, the best way to learn is by experimenting a little. And adjustments will probably need to be made to fit your unique circumstance. And with that, Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more, you know what to do. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment, question, or suggestion down below, or you can even shoot me an email. Any feedback is much appreciated. Thank you so much.